Hi there. Bit of an unusual one for me this time. Um, and this is because I am doing an unpacking video. Um, a few months ago, I got an offer from Simon Brecken, who owns a, um, a commission painting service, link in the doobly-doo, and uh, he offered to paint up some minis for me at a discount. And uh, so we sent him some of the club's miniatures, and look what I got today. That's me. I got a pack of uh, 26 uh, miniatures, plastic, metal, and military models. Um, unfortunately, the uh, customs declaration that was here was not enough. Um, somebody evaluated this at a, uh, and and I got um, smacked by uh, the Danish customs. Uh, Brexit really messed up all packages going to and from uh, the UK, um, at least if you're on the European side of it, which sucks because most of the miniature companies are in the UK. So buying miniatures or even having them sent, it's, it's our own miniatures, having them sent to the UK and getting them back, <laughs> apparently you had to pay customs for that. That makes no sense. It's um, ridiculous. Anyways, thank you so much, Simon. I am going to open them live on video and I am going to show you what he did for me. So, uh, here we go. Right now, it's very unexciting. It's only paper getting cut. <sighs> but this has been an exciting weekend though. Um, people commenting on my game. So here we go. And um, mm. lots of nice tape holding it all together. I wonder if the uh, customs people opened it and looked into it and said, what's this? <laughs> Our nerdy little hobby, sending toy soldiers back and forth between countries. <laughs> Here we go. Package. Right. <clears throat> I'm going to try and not mess up my room too much. Um, there's a lot of nice packaging here. And here we have our first toy soldier. One little dude, American Airborne. <laughs> Need to clean up the paper. Um, the uh, the American Airborne in this um, package were um, Simon and I talked about it and. Um, we decided to go Northwestern Europe and we decided to go, um, not necessarily winter, but still, um, you know, Northwestern Europe with rubble so that they could be, uh, D-Day troops or, um, like at any point during the campaigns in Northwestern Europe. Um, the bases themselves are not painted up. Uh, which again was an agreement so that the um, <coughs> so that we could finish them off in the same style as whatever else was going on here. Lovely little paint job here. B.A.R. dude, blasting away. He's going to need some cover, though, isn't he? That's dangerous. Mm. 
BAR do throwing a hand grenade. It's just letting go of it. NCO. Another BAR. Um, with uh, Americans, you, you're always in need of more BARs. Um, that's what I found. Um, another NCO pointing that way. The Germans are that way. You're always in need of more BARs. You're always in need uh, because the BAR is just such a useful tool, right? Um, riflemen. Moving up, and and most units will have at least one BAR. Lovely highlights on this rifle as well. There we go. Here's one of the metal dudes. Of course, they were at the bottom here. He's radioing in for reinforcements. Another rifleman here. It's really nice for once not to have to <laughs> paint a whole army <laughs> just unpacking it. That is really cool. We have an NCO, I think. Brave fellow, anyway. He's standing up as well. And here we go, another medal. Medal model. This one is. Fixing his sights on his rifle. SMGs. How many SMGs do you need for Americans? What do you think? Write it in the comments. I think you don't typically need that many. You need a few for your lieutenants um, and their helpers. And that's more or less it for me. Um, Sometimes I may go a full unit, like engineers or something, equipment, SMGs, but another SMG dude. And here comes a vital dude. Um, these ones you need one of in each American army, and that is, of course, the, uh, here we go, bazookas. This one is a metal one, all the game's metals. And uh, here, a few more riflemen. Um, that's another thing you always need more of in American armies, rifles. Always more rifles, right? And uh, we have here another SMG that makes it at least three SMGs, which is basically what I would want. I would want three, one for my lieutenant, and a couple of extra for a few dudes to help him out. Um, Maybe sometimes I would go one with a sniper. Here we have another radio operator. Oh, unfortunately, the, some of the paint got chipped in transport. Ah, that sucks. His nose is chipped. Sucks. Well, that's a fairly easy fix. Here we have a metal rifleman. These metal minis are really lovely. Um, see him. Mm. 
more SMG dudes. I think when we assembled them, we gave them a little, a few too many SMGs. Right, I think that was it. <coughs> Two, three units of uh, airborne Americans and a couple of lieutenants and a bazooka team. Maybe even a sniper team. That was lovely. Thank you so much, Simon, for sending it, and thank you so much for the commission paint. It was a joy to work with you. I look forward to seeing these on the table. <laughs> Cheers. Bye.